How do Chinese people keep warm in winter? Actually, in northern cities in China, families will have a central heating system, and this service is provided by the Chinese government. And also, if the company welfare is good enough, this expense will also be covered. For this service, the fee is around two thousand yuan, RMB. So it's really a good deal, right? And for some better communities, the underground heating system will be provided. That means the heating pipes are under the tiles. In rural areas in China, people can buy a wall hanging stove. The stove can heat up the water. You also have to buy some radiators. And as water is heated up through the pipes, the radiator will also be heated. And the more the radiators are, the warmer the home. Will be, but you have to pay more for that. This period starts from November all the way to March in the next year. And in southern cities in China, for most cities, there are no radiators or central heating service from the government. So people have to endure the coldness of winter, or they have to buy the air conditioner. But the air conditioner is too dry, and also the electricity bill will be very expensive. So welcome to China for traveling and enjoy the warmth of winter at home. And do you know what kind of heating method did Chinese ancient people use to keep out the cold? Firstly, they use heated brick bed. In Chinese, it is called kang. Households are equipped with kang with holes in it. And the heat that comes from wood burning can be introduced into the passageway. So far, this kind of heating method is still used in many northern parts of China. After Han Dynasty, the incense burner, the food stove, the hand stove, and other heating equipment were further promoted. In Han Dynasty, the greenhouse hall was established, and also the curtains were made of goose feathers and the blanket. Came from western regions. Also, Sichuan pepper was made into mud, coating the palace to achieve heat preservation. If you want to know more about Chinese culture and stories living in China, don't forget to give a like and subscribe my channel. Bye.